The actor would have turned 25 on May 28th. Here is a look at his beginnings and his relationship with sudden fame, his passion for dance, and Hollywood's reaction when the news of his death broke. Cameron Boyce was such a versatile performer that he could easily transition from playing the son of Cruella DeVille in Descendants 3 Inches 2019 to starring as Cal in the violent thriller Runt 2020. But in his personal life, he was so kind, sociable, and friendly that he had to use method acting as part of his process when immersing himself in his tougher characters. In fact, he had to isolate himself completely while preparing for his role in Runt. It had the complicated nuance of childhood traumatic events. Since the boy is so isolated, and because I'm so family-oriented, a week before we started shooting, I warned my family, listen, I'm going to ignore you all for a month and a half. Completely, he said in Dazed magazine at the time of the film's release. On July 6, 2019, Cameron Boyce passed away in his sleep following a seizure. On May 28, 2024, he would have turned 25. He left behind a legion of adoring fans, friends, and famous collaborators, many of whom spoke highly of his excellent character. Born to act, Cameron Micah Boyce was born on May 28, 1999, in Los Angeles, California. His mother is white, Ashkenazi Jewish, and his father is black. His paternal grandmother, Joanne Allen, was one of the Clinton 12, the first African Americans to attend an integrated high school in the Southern United States specifically in Clinton, Tennessee. Cameron trained as a dancer from a young age and made his debut at eight years old in the music video That Green Gentleman by Panic at the disco. In fact, dance was his first love. The star even had a breakdancing group called x -Mob. In an interview, Boyce spoke about his passion for dance. Dance was what really taught me the values of creative freedom. The night before he died, Cameron Boyce posted a black and white portrait of himself on Instagram, which remains active to this day, with greetings and nearly one and a half million comments accumulating over the years. He had a serious facial expression and a sports band on his forehead. Cameron did not caption the photo, besides tagging the popular British media outlet and fashion brand ID. Boyce regularly updated his Instagram page as he enjoyed staying in touch with his fans and sharing photos of his work as an actor, as well as using the platform to discuss social issues. Cameron's parents, Victor and Libby Boyce, spent the afternoon of Friday, July 5, 2019, with their son. His father revealed to ABC News, the night he passed away, we went out to dinner with him, hours before. The three enjoyed some quality family time, and Victor said that night is his favorite memory with his son. He came to visit me, and I was so happy to see him, and gave him a big hug. It was great to see my 20-year-old son, who had just driven from his home, the man recalled. He also noted that he loved seeing him living independently, and imagined their relationship would continue that way in the future. Less than a week after the actor's death, his father shared a photo from that dinner, which is the last he has of Cameron. Alongside the image he posted on Instagram, he expressed his devastation, but thanked everyone for their love and support. After dinner, the actor had returned to his new home but continued talking with his parents late into the night. His father recounted to ABC News his feelings that night. We talked about the Lakers. At some point between the last message he sent me and the morning he was gone, it's not a cliche to say that you never know. You never know. The couple could not have known something was wrong when their son stopped sending messages. He died after suffering a seizure while asleep in the early hours of Saturday, July 6th. How they found him? On July 6, 2019, Cameron Boyce's roommates decided to check on him before leaving the house, according to the forensic report. When they entered, they found him unconscious, called 911, and began performing CPR. They continued trying to revive him until emergency services arrived. They couldn't do anything, and paramedics declared Boyce dead at 2.35 p.m. Later, his father confirmed the death of the 20-year-old actor. He passed away in his sleep due to a seizure, a result of an ongoing medical condition for which he was being treated. The world is now without one of its brightest lights, but his spirit will live on through the kindness and compassion of all who knew and loved him read the official statement. Cameron Boyce's autopsy report confirmed that the medication he was taking, called Levetiracetum, was present in his body when he died. After his death, his parents provided more details about his treatment, which included more than just medication. They also put a wire on his head and a device to try to capture brain activity. They never found anything, his mother continued explaining. She added that he only had seizures while sleeping, and Cameron did not remember them. The actor had a total of five seizures and often bit his lip or tongue. The tragic death of Cameron was due to a seizure resulting from an illness he suffered from, which was epilepsy, a Boyce family spokesperson told ABC News days after his passing. His legacy. After his death, his parents created a charitable organization in his honor, the Cameron Boyce Foundation. Libby Boyce explained to ABC News that many things will be done for epilepsy, to end gun violence, and for the water crisis. Cameron came from a long line of activists and humanitarians. In fact, his grandmother, Joanne Boyce, was part of the Clinton 12. As the actor himself explained, the Clinton 12 were the first group of black students 
who integrated an all-white high school. His mother was a social worker during the AIDS epidemic. Later, she dedicated herself to helping the homeless. Cameron hoped to follow in his family's footsteps and wanted philanthropy to be his legacy. He engaged in activism platforms whenever he could. When receiving one of the awards he won during his short life, the actor addressed the audience with words of encouragement and action. What you leave behind should be bigger than yourself. We have to use what we have and make the world a better place for others. He had already done his part.